we're getting travel advice from Beauty Gonzalez right now. This is this is gonna affect us, people. This is gonna affect us. It's really nice too. You should try the San Serval, the Serts, and there are so many places to visit there. We're doing that. We're, we're definitely doing that. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful day in Dumaguete. And with this, Beauty Gonzalez, I have fulfilled my promise. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna familiarize myself with the city. I'm gonna go and hit up all the popular spots to visit as a tourist. We're gonna go to Rizal Boulevard, we're gonna go to Freedom Park, we're gonna do all types of things today. I'm really excited. The city looks amazing. Check it out guys, here we got our bad boy. Can't wait to drive some scooter on this amazing day. Can't believe how good it is. I'm so blessed. The Philippines is giving me so much good fortune, guys. I can't even believe it. All right, let's go find some food. Amazing. What is that, sir? B barbecue? Yes. Chicken or pork? Pork. Pork. Ah, nice, nice, nice. I'm pretty sure I came to the right place. This place looks amazing. What is, what is the name of this one? Chicken adobo, sir. And this one? That one is chicken curry. Chicken curry. Yeah. Ah, okay, thank you. I have a really good feeling about Dumaguete. I'm really, really loving it up till now. I haven't seen much yet. Today is the day that we explore the city, but up till now, the area I'm in is amazing. Chicken curry, baby. Chicken adobo, baby. Amazing, amazing. We have arrived at Freedom Park. There seems to be a lot going on here. I'm seeing a lot of stalls, a lot of stages. I was wondering, do you know what is this? Why is, why is Freedom Park? So uh, because it's a Buglasan festival. Oh, it's a festival? Yeah. The Buglasan festival? Yes. Every October. Every October? Of the year, yes. One week? Uh, no, no. Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, oh. until 26. Okay, great. Thank you. So all this stuff truly is here because of the Buglasan festival. Freedom Park is full and it looks so cool. Buglasan 2019, right in front of this really awesome government building. I'm so incredibly lucky that I happen to be in Dumaguete while this is going on. Well, the vibes at Freedom Park are really good. It's really quiet, but there's so many stands. I think the activities probably start later 
or tomorrow or something like that. And Freedom Park is very nice, but there's so much going on here now that I can't see it properly. people we've made it Rizal Boulevard it's so beautiful I love it the ocean looks so good and the boulevard is so nice uh, Dumaguete is such a nice city just driving through it I don't understand why Negros isn't as popular as other places in the Philippines to travel I think I think Negros is a sleeping giant people I think the moment people find out how amazing it is here Negros is going to become very, very popular. And I think Dumaguete is going to be super popular as well. Dumaguete, baby! Check it out. Hashtag Dumagetme. Uh, I think that's a very, very accurate hashtag. Because Duma is most definitely getting me. What a great city. Hello, how are you? Thank you, I'm loving it! Great city! Oh guys, people opening up their windows. Welcome to Dumaguete. This truly is the city of gentle people. <laughs> I really am falling in love with this city. This place is very special. Siliman University. Oh, it's happening. It is happening this week. One of the most requested university vlogs, Siliman University. It's coming. Ah, oh, Rizal Boulevard. What a great place to just have a walk and relax. Look at all the green and the flowers and the vibes are so good. There's a little market over here. My heart is being filled with joy here in Negros. So I walked all the way to the end here, to the port of Dumaguete. I just asked the guard here, he said, you can actually take the boat to Tug Biloran City from here. So you can go from one paradise island, Negros, to another, Bohol. That's really cool. I should, I should try and travel by boat more here in the Philippines. These ocean jets look really good. We are on the other side of Rizal Boulevard now. There's this wonderful little park where you can chill. Loads of palm trees, so green and so blue. A park on one side, the ocean on another. This really is a city to just lay back and relax. Yo, I'm not sure what kind of trees these are, but they look epic with all the leaves and stuff over the branches. I gotta show you this. Starbucks in a really old colonial building. There's like a beach volleyball game going on here at Brazil Boulevard. See, this is really a social area, guys. It's really nice. It's really nice to see. This is clearly a place where the people of Dumaguete like to chill. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog, people. You can hear it. They're saying it. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Place, Sun Rival Bistro and I'm here to fulfill my promise to Beauty Gonzalez. I said that I was gonna go to Dumagueta and eat Sun Rival. 
so here I am, people. I always keep my promise. Which one is it? Yeah. This one, Sanshabai. Yeah. Sylvanas. Our Sylvanas. Sylvanas. Yeah, we have. All right, guys. We're throwing in some Sylvanas as well, which, according to my waiter, is also a specialty here in Dumaguete. My mouth just started watering like crazy. It looks amazing. Two desserts for lunch, guys. That's just how we live. That's just how we live. That's really good. It's so chewy. Dumaguete knows how to make dessert, guys. You can really taste the moringa and the cashews and it's so buttery and creamy. I love Dumaguete. Well guys, I absolutely devoured those cakes. Those are delicious. Sons Rival and Sylvanas. Thank you Beauty Gonzalez for recommending that to me. That was totally worth it. Very bad for my beach body ambitions though, because I could see this being an addiction. Let's rock and roll. We have arrived, guys, at this is Kazon Park, right? Yes. yes. All right, thank you. Thank you. Kazon Park. Hey. We're here. These guys helped me with identifying the place. It's looking really nice here. A lot of people here chilling. Another prime chill spot here in Dumaguete. And I can already see Dumaguete's famous bell tower. This looks so epic and so old. So the original structure dates back to the 1760s. That's a very long time ago. And it was originally built during Spanish colonial rule. Really nice to learn some historical facts as you do a city tour. And right next to the bell tower is this really awesome and grand cathedral that is very famous here in Dumaguete. I think probably also from colonial times, from the looks of it. We're back in the humble abode, guys! Sweet cowbunga, dude! This was awesome. I'm absolutely loving Dumaguete. I'm only halfway in my Negros trip, but I can already sense that Negros is extremely underrated by tourists. This is a sleeping giant, 100%. Negros has so much to offer. Dumaguete is an amazing city. It's just so small scale. The vibes are so chill. You can rent a scooter and get everywhere you need to get. There's cool cafes and cool restaurants all over the place. Really, Dumaguete and Negros, they're gonna be up and coming. I know that for sure. Anyway, I still have a few weeks to go here in Negros and I'm gonna enjoy it to the very fullest. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, guys. Peace out. Check you later, people.